What we're going to do is we're going to attempt to start the whole command tonight with little Jeb. He's a week shy of about four months old. He's doing all of his obedience pretty well. He's coming back, loves to retreat, gets in the water, doing everything. And he's just ready, I think, to start the uh, to start the hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go out and give him a little refresher course. Let me show you how that goes. A little obedience. We're going to come back and start the hole. What we're going to do here is we're going to attempt to teach this little guy hold. But before we do it, let me talk to you about it. The force fence is something that's got to come with these little puppies. They've got to do it. That teaches them how to carry something properly, a bird, how to sit still with it and to deliver it to hand properly. It's also the start of a, a blind retrieve. It's really not as hard as you might think. You see and hear a lot of stuff about the force fetch. Right now, a friend of mine, Bill Hillman, he has a videotape actually has two. One is training a retriever puppy and the second one is uh, the force fetch. Actually a, a whole DVD on the force fetch. You can get that on, uh, let's see, www.hawkeyemedia.com I think. If not, give me a call and you'll see that you get a copy. This little guy's never had this. And I'm going to do it, I'm going to start up here on my tailgate because he's at eye level and I don't have to bend over. I want him real comfortable up here. I want to make sure that he's, he's okay. He's sitting in and doing this because when we first start this he's probably going to jump around and fight and wonder what in the world is going on. He loves to play with one of these things. He brings it back but he doesn't know how to hold it properly. So we're going to give it a go. This is the first day. Yeah. I'm going to open his mouth a little. I'm going to put it in. Pull, and I'm going to tell him to pull. He's going to fight and pull. He doesn't know exactly where he's going to put his tongue. That's what's bothering him right now. So I'm going to put it in for a second, and I'm going to let it out. Good. I'm not going to scare or traumatize him too bad. You know, one other thing I want to say. This little bumper that I'm using is real soft. It's, can you see? It's like, almost like a little foam bumper. This is made by Tom Dockin and the Dockin Duck folks. Man, this is a great little bumper. You don't want something real hard to do this, so this little bumper works good. Also, a paint roller would work good. Let's give it a try again. Okay, I'm going to tell him hold. Oh boy, hold. I'm going to move his lips from around his canines. Hold. Look at that. Touch him. Hold. Hold. Good. My right, gosh, that's, that's almost too easy. I'm going to show him it's all right to hold it. There's a little bit of a flap of skin down here. I'm going to show him to hold it. Get a boy. Get a boy. All right. Put it right back in. Hold. There he's going to fight a little. Hold. Hold. Once he relaxes, I'm going to show him that it's all right. Again, he doesn't know what to do with his tongue, so his first reaction is to spit this thing out. <coughs> no one's made him ever do this, so he thinks this is not natural. Right back in. 
not too much pressure. Hold. 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 That's enough. I'm going to let him relax. Good. Let him relax. Give him a second. I think covering his face and his eyes when you do this makes a big difference. I'm going to do it again. Make him hold it this time. It's the first time he really fought me. Hold. Then I'm going to tell him that. I'm not giving him any other cues but the word hold. Right? All right. A couple more times. I don't know. Maybe it's a wife's tail or maybe it's just me. By covering their eyes, I always think that they do a little better. He wants it out of there. He didn't want that thing in there now. Hold. Hold. There we go. Step. Step. Hold. Hold. Now I can be just a little bit more firm. This is the first time again. Hold. Good. What I want now <coughs> on my first day is for him to relax with it and hold it just a little. You know, nobody's got a pistol at your head and says, hurry and do this. If this takes a week, two weeks, three weeks, three months, it doesn't matter. Just sort of take your time. Sit. 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 Good. Hold. Remember to get his lips from around his canine so he didn't bite himself. Hold. Hold. There's relax a little. Right there. Hold. Hold. Release. And I'm showing him now that if he holds on to it, he's going to get petted and he's going to get loved and it's not going to be in there forever. Attaboy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Hold. 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 Good. Good. He's relaxing just fine. He's not trying to push it out with his tongue. Hold. just pressuring this dog to death. One more time. That's enough. I want to give him a couple happy ones and we're going to quit. Had a boy. Come on, buddy. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Had a boy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Had a boy, Jabber. You're the man. Okay. You're the man. Oh, hot dog money! You suck!